Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. Let's continue the MS Excel tutorial series. Now in this video tutorial, I will explain how to highlight the particular selector row using a checkbox control. So let's start the tutorial. Now let's check the final output. If I select 3, student number 3, notice here. The checkbox is selected, the format is applied for the selected checkbox. If I unselect, the format has been removed. 4, 2, 6, 1. That's it. If you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. I have just opened the Excel application. The file name is a ST, which is a student file. In, in the student file contains sheet 5 with some student details like mark sheet student number student name english hindi max total and result now my aim is i will add one new column to this student mark sheet inside this new column i will add some checkbox controls now when a user selects a particular checkbox control i want to highlight that row the selected checkbox row to add the background and fourth color. If unchecked, the format has been removed. So first let's add a new column here. For that, I'm selecting the A column, right click the mouse, insert, notice here, we got one new column is added. Let's increase the width of this column, newly created column. Now here inside this column, will add a checkbox controls so that checkbox control by default it's not available in this menu controls so we first we need to add that uh, developer option for that right click the mouse on the ribbon anywhere not on the icons at the bottom customize the ribbon once we got the customizer ribbon on the main tabs i want to add the developer see the developer here is unchecked now i'm selecting the checkbox click ok now we got the developer option now click the developer once we click the developer notice the ribbon has been changed in the controls there is an insert option where we can add the controls open that one insert controls this is a checkbox control select that one now just simply drag here here we got our checkbox controls now what i'll do is i'm deleting this uh, label which i don't require now put in the middle now i want to add a checkbox control to all the uh, tables but for this example I am adding up to five records up to six Kumar so I have added so only six checkboxes after adding the checkbox controls we need to add the condition the checkbox is a true or false control so we need to add the true or false condition if we use a check the checkbox it's true if unchecked it's false so first select selecting a checkbox control right click the mouse it selected format control in the format control under control tab there is a cell link option here in the cell link i'm selecting the dollar a dollar two click ok now notice here if i click the checkbox control here we got true here if i unclick false now we have to do for all the checkbox controls right click the mouse to hire to select the checkbox control format control this is a dollar a and dollar three i'm freezing the this cell a3 cell click ok right click the mouse to highlight the checkbox format control a4 let's freeze that control uh, cell right click the control format control cell link a5 the cell name is click ok 
uh, we have to select a checkbox control format control cell link now a6 is a cell name okay okay i click the mouse format control a7 just for the time saving i have not added the remaining the student records because it will take time the five or six check boxes is enough for this example because the everything is the same process if you want to apply all the records the same procedure just right click the checkbox control format control and add the cell link which is a cell name okay now notice here here we got true or false if i uncheck we got false here but here one condition is it's displaying the true or false so we need to format the four color into white go to home the four color four color four color we are hiding this font now i'm unchecking this now after adding the checkbox control then we have added the cell links also here true or false now the next step is select the student number one now let's select the student records from one to six i'm pressing shift and down arrow now the side arrows i'm adding to selecting the side records the rows i'm selecting the rows once we select the student records i have selected only six records because i have only six checkbox controls now the condition is after selecting the records the same home tab inside this ribbon there is a styles option in the styles there is a conditional formatting let's open this conditional formatting add a new rule in the new rule i'm selecting the bottom one use a formula to determine which cells to format and now in the format values is equals to when we are adding formula is equals to we must add now we have to add the first checkbox value which is a, a2 a is a column 2 is a row a2 cell name dollar a2 now let's add the format fill the format is uh, green color background is green color and four color i'm adding let's add the bold uh, white color click ok and this is how it looks when we selected a checkbox control click ok now let's select the record 4 notice here and notice the selected checkbox row is highlighted the 4 and background color is applied if i uncheck it's gone to vijay 4 band we have added kumar also now let's check the final output for select 3 student number 3 notice here the checkbox is selected the format is applied for the selected checkbox if i unselect the format has been removed four two six one that's it in this video tutorial i have explained how to highlight a row using a checkbox control to change the background and four color the selected checkbox Thanks for watching and please subscribe my channel. Catch you in my next video tutorial.